What's going on guys? This is Scott with Casey Blade Drip. Kind of got a two for today, a two for one. It's Monday, it's May 2nd, it's rainy, it's 2022. I'm looking out here, the rain is just like a real low drizzle. And I thought, you know, I just did a video, but I've got so much thing, so much content, so many things on my mind. That I wanted to, um, I know you guys love my mystery mail call. And guess what? Mail call! It's time to get that mail call on, guys. I've got some packages sitting around. We're going to open one today. Don't know what this is, but I'm kind of, I need to start getting through these things because I'm holding all my excitement for this knife. And you know, you know how exciting it is when you have a package and you're like, I want to touch it. I want to see it. I want to taste it. I want to get into my new knife, and so we're going to do it together, guys, and you're with me. You'll know by the title, but right now my excitement is building. We're going to sprint to excellence. Every knife has a story. This one is just beginning, my friends. We're going to do it here, all right? Um, I'm always right over half the time, so uh, here we go. Let's... Let's open the package, get right into this thing. You gotta use a knife to open a knife. Okay. CRKT. All right. Hmm. Now this isn't what I was thinking it was, but I, then again, <laughs> I, w I was guessing from the beginning what was in that package, and I was, guys, <laughs> did I say that I was right over half the time? Well, this may be one of those times I was under half the time. So anyways, it's CRKT. I don't own any of these, and I wanted to get one. So let's take a look at it. what's in here anything worth it just for the hell of it guys because everybody else does that let's be a cool kid on the block um okay i don't want to be that cool though okay here we go let's just sit it there let's look at it hmm do i feel all right all right Now, from looking at it, picking it up, first thing I notice is it, it's got a good weight. That's always the first thing you're going to notice when you pick a knife up is how much it weighs. I'm going to guess on this one because I love guessing and I haven't looked at any damn stats or anything on this. And I like to see how good I can be. Let's. Um, this is 3.1 ounces, and that's just me guessing. Let's... I have no reason to lie. Alright, zero this out. Ooh, ah, 3.8. So I was a little bit off on that, but I was within um, one ounce. Let's just call it that. Okay, so 3.8. This is called the Tuna, guys. Um, The Tuna by... C-R-K-T. Now, there is, it's got a thumb stud. I don't believe, nope, there's no other opening on this but a thumb stud. And I am terrible with thumb studs. I, I just not, it's not my jam, guys. But I'm not going to hold that against it, and I'll probably play with it over the next few days just to kind of, try to get used to it but it's a good weight and it feels good in the hand I don't feel any sharp edges um, up on the top of the spine here where my thumb is you'll see there's some jimping now guys can you see look at this 
I mean, my eyesight's bad, but if you look at that and you feel it, the jimping is actually below the scales right here. So if they had this on the blade, thinking that your thumb is going to go on top and that's going to, it's, that doesn't, that's a fail, guys. That's a no-go right there. So when I put my thumb here, it just feels smooth and then it hits this area on the top of the, the knife. And I can feel that this feels almost uncomfortable with the edges right here on the scale and the back side of the knife. When I put my finger on that, that almost feels a little uncomfortable. Not painful, but uncomfortable. Also down here, this is a little bit of a sharp area underneath the knife. So when you overall grab this, and again, we're just going by my non-professional opinion here. I'm an amateur, guys, but this is the way you become good at something is you keep doing it and you do it. Well, I like doing it together. Uh, but it's a little bit, yeah, you feel the bars here. It, you know, if I'm like almost closing my eyes, telling you what I feel it like in my hand, I feel the bars. I do not feel the jimping. So that's, that really, it's so, like it's not even a, a very aggressive jimping and it really doesn't do anything for me putting my thumb up on the top of the knife to brace it. So that's really not that impressive to me. Um, this here isn't really that uncomfortable. I don't even really feel like I'm locked in underneath the knife. So those are just a couple of things. I mean, it's, yeah, it just, it's not, I can't say it's like a great feeling in my hand. I have a large hand, but we'll do the, so it fits in there, but it just doesn't give me that locked in feeling around the knife or on the top. So let me, I'm going to close this again and look at it. Spacer here. Got your lanyard hole if you chose if you chose to have that. Um, it's only going to be tip up here. There is no option for a left hand to uh, flip the clip over. You don't have that option. Okay, so we're looking at that. Now, again, guys, we're just, I'm flying by my amateur seat of my pants telling you impressions, which is, that's what we all go by when we first open something. We feel it and look at it. Okay, so here's that jimping. Um, well, um, so that really was not that good of a thing. Got your pivot. Kind of a anodized color around here. This is a, I would guess a G10 scale. Uh, feels kind of like a smooth sandpaper if you can see the texture on it. Um, that's not bad as far as the feeling. And actually that would give you a little bit of grip on here. So that doesn't feel bad as far as the texturing on it. Um, this cutout doesn't really do much for me. This is going to be a frame lock. See how we have the frame that goes over. Some people may not even know less than me, but um, so a liner lock again is going to be something like this, but you have a frame on the outside and the liner, which is the inside piece, would swing over and lock into place to hold your blade from closing. This is actually part of the frame here. And what you do is you push this over to release it. Then you can close it when the blade snaps or opens up. Then that swings over. Lockup looks good. The lockup looks fine. Your backspacer here is anodized too as well, colored. So you have kind of an open flow-through design as far as inside, which is probably why it also adds to it being such a light knife. And it's a small knife. This is small. 
Um, let's just measure it real quick so we can see overall what the size is on this thing. So it looks like it's about a three and a half maybe, but three and a quarter of cutting area on the blade, about three and a quarter of usable. A handle right around four and four and a half without the, it's the, I don't know that, I don't consider that a glass breaker. I mean, maybe they intend for it to be that, but um, yeah, no, it's not that durable, whatever it is, the material, sorry, it may be aluminum, I don't know. Uh, the a deep carry clip, which is fine. I like, you know, you've got that much out. So the clip is fine. I like that. So you've got some type of a uh, steel on this side. This is the markings, the tuna. And it's, this is the, I think it's the, is it Burley that was the designer of this blade? I, I, it was somebody, if I remember, I didn't do a lot of research on this again. I wanted to have a CRKT, which to my understanding, it's a little bit of a more inexpensive knife, but it, there, a lot of people do use them uh, every day and I hadn't owned any. I just really have not been interested in this particular brand, but I wanted to give it a go and try it. And I'll carry it for a little while just to see. It feels very sharp. The edge looks good. If you can kind of see what, I mean, it looks like the edge is, is good on it. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure really, to be honest with you, what the blade steel is on this. Um, once I get done doing this and, and get done failing for you and giving you some smiles thinking this guy doesn't know what the hell he's talking about, you're absolutely right. Um, I'll look up information on it when I get back to my desk and stuff and kind of do some more research to learn about what I actually have in my hand. Again, this is just a first impression, mainly aesthetically letting you look at it with me and then just tell you what I think when I'm holding and looking at it. This has nothing to do with performance on the knife or the company or, or really, because it's, my impression's good. I think that in all, let's see. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a $57 knife is what it cost. And the thing is, guys, for fifty-seven, you're in a price range. I this probably falls right into it, but I can find some pretty damn good stuff for that fifty-seven dollar price range that I probably would like a little better. I do like uh, clip points, drop point, Tonto um, are my favorite type blade styles to have in a knife. This falls into that category. It looks like, is this like a hollow? Or a flat? Yeah, it looks like a hollow edge. It, help me if I'm wrong, guys. Nice, uh, almost like a spear point on the end. Um, I don't know. We've looked at it. I don't really have much other impressions. Uh, I'm not going to, I'll never really, I may point out some things that I think could be better or that I don't like about a knife or that fall short. I'm not a person, I really am not going to dog anything because I think all companies bring something to the table. And what you're bringing is you're bringing craftsmanship, you're bringing somebody's ideas, thoughts, you're putting it into action. It's more than what I can do when it comes to like designing a knife. So even though something may not be for me, uh, uh, doesn't mean it doesn't work for the next guy. So this particular knife, as far as the size, what it offers, you know, it is a knife. I'm sure it's going to be cutting well. 
I wish I kind of knew what the blade steel was on it, but I don't. Um, I don't think it said... on here but anyways again I may in a future video like lay down a few different like cheaper knives under $75 or 100 or something and kind of go over them after I've had a chance to use them or whatnot I've got a couple other unboxings and I'll be honest with you I've been looking for this particular one knife that I'm really I don't know which box or package it's in so I may do another unboxing. Uh, love your vets, guys. Just keep them in your thoughts. Try to support them. They gave everything they have for their country, uh, whether, you know, no matter what. When you sign on that dotted line and you get shipped out, it's a scary moment. And that's a lot of life-changing stuff that goes on. So I respect and love that. I myself am a veteran. And... Uh, all my brothers and sisters, I, I definitely want to uh, support them. And with that, and our sprint to excellence, we didn't fail too bad. At least I was successful in running the gift of gab for a little bit and letting you check out this knife. And uh, maybe I'll check out another uh, CRKT, but I'll be honest, I probably won't purchase another one just because I have so many other knives that I need to look into and things that I want to try. Um, and I am right half, over half the time. Uh, everybody has a story. This is the very beginning of this one. We have, I have no idea what's in store. I may put this to use because I won't really care if it gets damaged, uh, being that it's kind of like a, a little bit of a, a user to me. Another thing just to mention and throw it out there, guys, Durr is an awesome dude. Um, his channel is uh, uh, Freedom Frog Gear. So if you just put all one word, freedom and frog, and then like, I don't, space, gear, he's got a channel. He has a few subscribers on there. And from what I gathered on his channel, he's got some great content. Check it out. Um, I'm, all, I'm always looking for new people or new ideas and thoughts. And uh, he really impressed me. He's a great guy. And he's been uh, watching my channel as well. Um, also, take care of your pets. Love them up. They're people too. Little people. Little furry people. So we got to take care of the little furry ones. Thank you for watching so much. I appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe if you so choose to do so. And then don't forget, if you use Instagram and you want to see some amateur photos, follow Casey Blade Drip for all kinds of different knife content. I'm out.